All right, man, check me out. If you've been tapped into the What The Full ID channel, you might recall a video I did earlier talking about the different stages of semen retention. Now, that was a little bit of an offshoot of the main channel's video, Full ID Fitness, talking about the six stages of semen retention. But today, I wanna to break it down even further, talking about the difference between short-term streaks on semen retention versus long-term streaks on semen retention. So without further ado, Let's break this bitch down real quick like a brick for y'all. Now, when it comes to short-term streaks of semen retention, I'm not the guy to talk too much about it. Obviously, I can talk about the short-term phases of the streak that I've been on, but when I first learned about semen retention, I just took off with it. I just took off with it. I was so not fully committed to it but i was like man i'm done with that other shit, bro like i'm trying to find something that's really gonna help me elevate in life mentally physically and spiritually so before then i was doing things like nofap and i've talked about it multiple times on this channel on the main channel on the discord whatever it is man there is a complete difference between the two they you cannot say they're the same thing some people get it mixed up don't get it twisted, bro. This is two different practices. And I was doing uh, nofap, quitting masturbation, quitting porn, all that stuff, but I didn't feel like I was actually rising above those lower levels of consciousness. I wasn't transcending lust. I was still, at times, controlled by it. And I still am to this day but it's at a, such a minuscule level because I've been practicing semen retention for such a longer period of time that I don't really even, I don't, I, I, I'm in control of when lust tries to control me, if that makes sense, we'll, we'll get onto it later on. But essentially, when I first learned about semen retention, it was a video not talking about female attraction, not talking about fucking your skin glows not all that shit man it was talking about how essentially after 90 days why i don't know why that's the real like the pinnacle number 90 days like even looking back on it right now like don't really make sense everyone's journey is completely different on its own like 90 days is a good barometer but it's not going to be okay you hit 90 days you fucking you fucking golden bro like you're a legend now no it's not it's a good stepping stone, but we'll talk about it. But essentially, the video was talking about how your, your seed can be reabsorbed back into the body and help heal your, your actual physical body, your mind, and essentially awaken your spiritual senses. And I was interested in that. I was like, damn, this is, is this like legit? Like many of you guys out there, maybe you're still at this point right now, I was like, this is bullshit, bro. If you're telling me if I just retain my seed, all these good things are gonna happen. So I was like, fuck it, why not? What do I have to lose? What do I have to fucking lose? Went on a cold turkey. I wasn't doing nothing, bro. No women, no, no uh, porn, no masturbation, no nothing. Obviously, you're still dealing with lust in your mind. I still am to this day. As you go around the world, especially you live in places like California, people are all, like girls are damn near half naked walking around. It's springtime, about to be summer, bro. It's about to get litty. Like, you can't hide yourself away from that, but you can't put yourself in those positions where you fold under pressure. You gotta elevate your mindset above that, which I talked about maybe on a video or two before this, talking about why lusting after women and trying to sleep with random women is the same as jerking off later on in my semen retention journey i understood that but in the beginning no it was difficult it was hard it was it was not as dialed in as it is now that realization that there's more to life than just the physical and material so i learned about that went on semen retention first 30 days like I've talked about it on the six stages of semen retention, all the, the different levels you get. Like I'm not gonna break that down again, but essentially the first 30 days, you just get a huge energy boost, man. The 
huge energy boost. Essentially, the whole premise of a short streak, in my opinion, gives you energy, gives you mental clarity, gives you physical prowess. Like, do you, you feel more present and whole and stronger and bolder and sharper? But that's all there is. Especially anything before year to me, that's all there is. There is no deep sense of presence and calmness and just overall, um, how can I explain it? There isn't that connection to your spirit, if you dig what I'm saying. That comes after because the first year, maybe year and a half, maybe it's only eight months, maybe it's only nine months. Like I said, all of, all of my videos, on my ebook, on the guide, everybody's journey is gonna be completely different. So don't look at me and be like, okay, if he did it on this day, then why don't I have it? Maybe it doesn't work. I'm gonna go jack off. I'm gonna go try to fuck some girl. Like that is not the case. Everybody's is gonna be different because not only your, your own biological uniqueness, neurological uniqueness, but also the amount of damage you've done previously. If you started doing all these things, these degenerate habits earlier on and you've been doing it for longer periods of time, then it's gonna take a little bit longer to clean it up. It's not gonna come overnight. It's not gonna happen like everybody else's. Just focus on your own journey. Don't focus on my journey. Don't focus on the other guy's journey. Don't focus on whoever's journey. Focus on your own. But like I'm saying, the short term, anything below a year, bro, it's really only mental and physical. You might feel spiritual benefits here and there, but it isn't really hitting you like that. And when I'm talking about long streaks, I'm talking about one year and up. Because I think that if you hit 365 days of semen retention, clean, no like peaking, no uh, edging, I, okay, one thing, bro, edging, people come in the Discord, ask that, man, are you fucking retarded? Like, actually, dude, you're going to sit there, jerk yourself off to the point of not busting, and you're going to go about your day. First of all, you're going to have blue balls like a motherfucker, bro. You are literally torturing yourself physically. You're torturing yourself mentally because you're frying out your dopamine centers because it wants, it needs to release. You, If you're doing it, if you're doing the deed, release. Like... I'm gonna say it straight up, bro. Don't edge. If you edge, it's basically released. And it's not going to fucking help you that, oh, I stopped. I stopped halfway. Like, I, okay, there's things like Tantra, which is basically edging, but it's a whole spiritual practice with somebody that you actually love, hopefully. But I'm not gonna get into that right now. But just straight up watching porn jerking yourself off to the point of no climax and bro that's idiotic man that's fucking retarded dude sorry to say but like somebody needs to tell you i'm not gonna be one of these guys that's gonna come up on here and see my attention say oh man it's totally fine bro we all make mistakes bro yes we all make mistakes but i'm a hard ass man especially on myself i'm gonna be a hard ass to my audience and to the people that support me too because why i believe that this is the best way to learn i'm not gonna call to you i'm not gonna say like oh man totally fine bro no you a fucking idiot for doing that bro let that sink in don't do it no more unless you want to hear me say you're a fucking idiot again come in the discord one more time asking about edging i will personally say you're fucking retarded send you this clip and then you go about your day and hopefully it clicks maybe it doesn't maybe you leave the server maybe you unsubscribe but hey man that's how i do I, how i go with it but back to what i was saying if you go a year on this path without doing any of that bullshit you are going to feel like, why would I go back? Why would I ever go back to watching porn, jerking off, smashing random women, going on Tinder, going to these clubs, going to these bars? You're gonna ask yourself why. And you might even still slip up after a year. There's been plenty of people that have done that, that have came in the server, talked to me about that, and they understood immediately after they busted that that was fucking stupid, that I just, you don't lose everything, but you, yes, you feel drained, bro. You're gonna feel drained. You're gonna feel 
depleted. You're gonna feel like you were operating at 100% now, brr, 50. And it's gonna take some time to get back up, but you will not be at zero. You're not gonna be at zero like you were before when you're doing it every day. When you were doing it every day, you max got yourself up to 30% and boom, back to zero. 30%, boom, back to zero. When you retain for a long period of time, yes, you go all the way up to 100, and if you release, it's gonna deplete yourself back, but you're not gonna be at the level that you were before. Hopefully not, unless you go on a full ass binge and you just go back to your old ways, which should not happen because you're creating a new self image when you're on semen retention. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna connect to that old self identity that you had before. You're gonna completely evolve yourself. It's a meta metamorphosis process, like a butterfly going into a cocoon, and no, a caterpillar going into the cocoon and coming out as a butterfly. That's essential what you're doing. You're putting yourself into what I like to call, what, to I, what I like to reference as the hyperbolic time chamber. Shout out to Dragon Ball Z. If you haven't watched that anime yet, man, your childhood was fucked up, man. Childhood was fucked up. But if you've been watching right now when you're older, bro, especially on semen retention, a lot of animes, especially on semen retention, are gonna click for you more, but treat this like the hyperbolic time chamber. Treat this long streak of semen retention like the hyperbolic time chamber. Short-term streaks, yes, they might give you a little bit of benefits here and there, but you're only gonna get, you're gonna get capped off. A good analogy I can say is, say you're going to the gym, you're working your way up to a 135 pound bench press. Okay, decent, whatever. Two plates on the bar. So, you keep doing that, you work your way up to that point. Maybe it's 30 days of semen retention for you. Short-term streak, that is short-term. Maybe to you it's long-term right now, but in the grand scheme of things, it's short-term, straight up. Like I'm not trying to do uh, put anyone down, but I'm saying this is the facts. 30 days of semen retention is like you work your way up to the 135 pound bench press and say you release, you work your way up to uh, 30 days again, you release, 30 days again, release. And you think you're getting all these benefits when in reality, you're just repping the 135 over and over and over and over and over again Wondering why my chest isn't growing. Why is my triceps not growing? Why is my shoulders not growing? Because motherfucker, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. <clears throat> if you wanna to get to the next level, if you wanna get more gains, you gotta put more weight on the bar. And when you put more weight on the bar, it's gonna get more difficult. 30 days, going from 30 days to 60 days is gonna be more difficult than going from zero to 30. Cause you're going from zero to 60. But you're, you're, you're cutting, you're actually sectioning things off in your own mind. It's gonna be more difficult. But when it's more difficult, it's gonna give you more gains. It's gonna give you more mental gains, spiritual gains, physical gains, all that stuff, man. So you can't put yourself in this box where I can only hit 30 days. You can't do that because that's just a short-term streak. And a short-term streak, like I said, you're only gonna get the mental and physical benefits. But if you're on this path, and I like to think my audience, my supporters, are doing this beyond just mental and physical benefits. Yes, I have videos talking about that, but I don't ramble about things like, oh man, some girl's gonna come up to you while you're in the gym, while you're on semen retention because all this, bro, like, I don't talk about that because that's, what not, that's not what I'm doing it for. And I'm making content for people that are like me, that, I'm making content for people like my younger self who was introduced into it and was looking for more than just the mental and physical. Yes, in the beginning, that's all you really think about, but I always knew in the back of my mind, I want something more than this. That's why I made it this far because I'm using, this is one thing that I talked about in the guide and in the ebook, and it's the most important thing when it comes to the semen retention and just life in general, bro. What is the purpose of this shit? What are you doing this really for? Because you saw somebody on YouTube talking about all the benefits. Because you, you heard someone uh, talking about female attraction. Because you heard someone talking about it'll make your skin glow. You'll get more magnetic. All that stuff. Cool, bro. But 
after a point, you're gonna, you're gonna get those benefits. You will. I'm not gonna debate it. I'm not making it a point to where you're not gonna get those benefits. Yes, you will. But a lot of it also, side note, a lot of it is confirmation bias. You're gonna watch all these videos talking about female attraction, magnetic this, blah, 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 blah. And you're essentially feeding your subconscious mind with all those types of thoughts. So when you go out in the real world, you're gonna look for those things that confirm those thoughts. You're gonna be in the gym, some girl just looks at you and oh man, that girl likes me because I'm on semen retention. Oh yeah. That's confirmation bias, bro. Like she just looked at your way because maybe she's gonna go over towards that machine. Maybe she's gonna go over and get a drink of water, bro. Like stop thinking you're the main character of this goddamn show, bro. You have, you have, you're really a nobody in this whole thing, bro. You're just trying to elevate yourself into the best version to actually produce the best results for yourself and for other people. We did not come here on earth just for ourselves. You came here to spread some type of gift that you were innately gifted by God, given to by God, by the universe, by the all high, the mighty, the supreme, whatever you wanna call it, to help humanity as a whole, to help elevate humanity, mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever it is in your way, to eventually get this whole level of consciousness of people up to the next level. You came here to do that in your own way, in my humble opinion. You didn't come here just for, jeez, hopefully you guys can hear that, bro. It scared the hell out of me. But you didn't come here just for yourself, for your, for your own vanity and this and that. Yes, you wanna become rich, you wanna become strong, you wanna become good looking, whatever. That's cool, that's part of the game. We live on the physical plane. That was a bar. Come on, man. We live on the physical plane, so you gotta play this game properly. If you want people to respect you, you gotta have some material things to show. But we all know that on this spiritual path, material shit it don't even make it don't it don't matter, bro. It's it's impermanent. But you gotta use the game properly. You can't dip out of the game. You can if you want. You can completely just go do your own thing, go straight spiritual path, but I like to think we're all gonna play on the mental, physical, and spiritual plane. So, back to what I was saying, is that you go beyond just a mental and physical when it comes to long streaks. You see things for what they truly are on the spiritual plane. You see how other people are so brain dead so soulless, so just out of tune. And I'm not saying this like in a way where you see dipshits on the new age spirituality nonsense, talking about we're the chosen ones. We're not the chosen ones, bro. If you're on senior retention, you're on spirituality, you're not a chosen one, you're just normal. The people that aren't, are in a state of darkness. You don't gotta act like a fucking douchebag and say I'm the chosen one. These are NPCs. Yes, they are NPCs for the time being, but you were too, dumbass. Like, you were too. I was too. We still are to a certain degree. We're still on YouTube. We're still on this uh, Matrix system. None of us broke out of it. Not even fucking Andrew Tate, the top G. He's still using it. The only people that really break out of the whole illusion of Maya are the self-realized masters the ultimate men who walked on this plane, the Jesuses, the Buddhas, the, all these spiritual leaders that completely transcended the, the plane of duality. Those are the real matrix breakers, not this fucking dipshit red pill stuff, bro. But what I'm saying is you start to see through that when you go on long streaks of semen intention because you're not so attached to your lower states of consciousness. You are above that because before that you're still you're still fighting yourself out of that. You're still healing all the parts of you that you destroyed with these degenerate habits. You're not gonna understand what I'm talking about on these deeper spiritual topics. Even when it comes to spiritual books, you're not gonna really understand and absorb and gain the information because you're still operating 
at lower levels of consciousness. These people wrote these books, got these revelations, got these, this type of information, this gnosis, this knowledge that only comes from within, while they were operating at higher levels of consciousness. So you need to raise yourself up to that point to understand it. You can't go into a calculus uh, lecture when you're still doing Algebra 1. I failed Algebra 1 as a fucking freshman. I can't go into the calculus class next door and understand what the fuck they're saying. Fuck no, I can't. Come on, bro. Like, this is just plain simple mathematics and just the way world, the world works, bro. So when you are, are committed to this practice of semen intense, you have a higher purpose for doing it. You're not just doing this for vanity or just, I want to look better. I want to attract more women. I want to do that. If you want to do that, bro, by all means, go for it, bro. This ain't the channel for it. This ain't the channel for it. My brand is not for that. My main channel is not for that. My Discord server is not for that. There's a bunch of other people out there that can help you with that. But it's not something I can help you out with. Sorry to say. But for the people that have a higher purpose that are using senior intention as a tool. This is what I always preach about on my videos, on my ebook, on the guide. Go check all that out, man. If you haven't, I'm telling you, bro. This is the, the, the real sauce you need to succeed on this path. You're truly missing out if you don't get this stuff. It's all free. So for those people, I always preach about using it as a tool, using it as a vehicle for, the, for your higher self to embody the person you are right now. Using this as a vehicle, using semen retention as a tool to help you achieve and actually fulfill that purpose. Because it will give you the mental clarity. It will give you the physical stamina, the physical energy, the physical boldness. Like, I don't know if you guys have been watching me for a long time, especially on this channel, you have, you probably haven't because I was doing these raw off the dome talks on the main channel at first. You can go check that out. Bro, you can see not only because I practiced this skill of camera presence, but you can see how semen retention makes me more just you can feel the way I'm talking to you. A lot of people comment and say, bro, I can feel this fucking phone vibrate because that's obviously how the fucking thing works. Vibrations coming out the speaker, but they're saying on a way where I can feel you talk. I'm not just hearing you talk. And I'm just two years into, two and a half years into learning this skill. A lot of people get into trying to learn YouTube this and that public speaking and it takes them five ten years because they don't have the energetic intensity they don't have the mental clarity they don't have the discipline to keep doing this day after day after day after day and they don't get to that point this is why I talked about on my main channel the best benefit of semen retention is that whatever that you're trying to do you're gonna cut the time of learning that skill halfway 50% 70% what took you five years you're gonna do it in two I promise you because you are so locked in, bro. You are operating at such a higher level. Even if you just do 90 day streaks, you're gonna be mentally, physically, more just like on point than you were before. Like you will see the difference. It's drastic. So imagine you extend that out to a year and on. The spiritual aspect, a lot of people miss that because you can do great work in your field but it's only mental and physical. When someone puts their soul into something, you feel it. That's what people are talking about. A year into semen retention, yes, I might've been able to speak on a camera decently. Physically, I was able to do it often, get those reps in, but you didn't feel a presence. That is a soul talking to you. And that's not just from raising my voice or talking like this, that is from just the just message, because I believe 100%, I'm, I'm just a vehicle for the divine. I wanna make myself the perfect vehicle for the divine. I wanna be a friend of God. I wanna be a right-hand man of the, the Almighty, the Supreme. I wanna be, I wanna submit myself to whatever that will is. That's what a lot of religions talk about, but a lot of people don't want to do it. That's why I think the mystic path 
of any religion is the ultimate form of it. Submitting yourself to God, but also wanting to become a friend of God while you're here. A lot of religions talk about how they want to be, go to heaven. That's cool, but you're just doing everything on this plane to go meet with God on the other plane. God is everything and everywhere, even on this plane. Why don't you want to become a friend of God? Why don't you want to become a vehicle for God to use and essentially work out His will for the universe to help this humanity get out of this dark age? That's what longer streaks of semen retention will do for you. You will have a yearning for that. You have that deep spiritual connection to your higher self that's telling you all these things. Because your higher self is a connection between you and that higher source. That's why it's called the higher self. You'll never be your higher self fully until you, you get to these points of realization that I want to be a vehicle, a vessel for the divine. I want to work out whatever God has me out doing the purpose and just go with it, bro. No matter how hard it gets, I know that God is going to bring me to the ultimate potential of my mind, body, and soul to work out my purpose, to become the best version of myself, not only for myself. Yes, I want to do it for myself, we all have an ego and you can use the ego properly, wear it like an ornament, ornament rather than have it call the shots, but you're not going to ever throw it away unless you completely want to transcend the ego right before you die, go in the spiritual plane with a clean slate. But that's a video for another topic. That's a video for the Patreon actually, man. Patreon, wait till last shit comes out, man. For the people that like this stuff, bro, wait till I start Baz and start snapping on Patreon, bro. And if you wanna, I'm gonna only limit it to a certain amount of people. So if you wanna book yourself in before anybody else can get in, DM me on Instagram or message me on the Discord server. Just say Patreon, that's it. I'll, I'll put you on the, on the list of people that I will put in first. I will give you an invitation before it even goes live, before anyone else can see it, so you can get your spot. Because I'm going to start snapping lectures, full videos, in-depth tutorials on things like meditation, prayer, visualization, affirmations, other types of things that I picked up along the way, even just magic stuff, M-A-G-I-C-K stuff, all that stuff, as well as one-on-one -on -one group consultations where we're going to go circle up in the philosopher's circle the inner circle and talk about these things, chop it up. And I'm going to only limit it, this stuff to certain people, bro. The people that actually want it. Because if you want it, bro, I know you will not only help support me and my channel, but you'll also help support yourself with this type of knowledge. You're not going to get this everywhere, bro. I put my soul, my mind, and my body all to these things to help not only myself, but also give it to the people that can also use it for themselves to eventually help others and this domino effect keeps going, man. So make sure you stay tuned for that. The Patreon is gonna be litty. But what I was saying, the long streaks, bro, that is the biggest difference. You have a yearning to want to become a vessel for the divine. You kind of submit to the universal order, the will, for lack of better terms, I like to call it the Tao. Shout out the Tao Te Ching, the way. You submit yourself to that. You don't submit yourself. That is one thing most masculine men will never do. And only God and the universe can make you do that. Because you can be the most masculine motherfucker out there. You can be doing semen retention for short streaks. You can get that ego, that masculine drive, real and vigor to you. But you will never submit until it's to a higher power. I will never submit to another man. But I will submit to the higher power. But the higher power has to speak to you, has to touch you in the heart before you do that. And that's not only gonna happen when you do 30 days of your intention. If it does, bro, by all means, comment down below. Maybe you're doing some other shit on the side to help you on that point. And when it comes to long streaks of semen retention, you can't, none of this will happen just through semen retention, just through retaining your seed. First of all, you're never going to get to long streaks of semen retention by just retaining your seed, if that makes sense. you got to add in those practices and those techniques I give out in the ebook and on my guide that helps you not only do this 
practice for longer, but also allows you to do it properly. You don't want to be the hothead motherfucker who's on scene with attention, who's always angry, coming to my Discord. Oh man, everybody's pissed off at me. Oh, dude, you're not. This is not anybody's fault other than you. Semen retention should make you more stoic if you add in the meditation techniques, the breath work techniques. You're doing some form of create, creative outlet. You're doing a physical outlet, whether that's lifting weights, boxing. You see the fucking. You see that shit, man. Wait till I start martial arts, bro. Wait till I, I'll start calling out YouTubers, bro. Semen retention YouTubers, and we'll, we'll box. Fuck all this Jake Paul shit, bro. Get me in the ring, get Fulati Fitness in the ring, bro. But you gotta do all these things to not only make semen retention viable, cause you're not gonna make it long enough, but it's gonna allow you to actually see what this po power in your seat is all about. Uh, you can retain your seat a long time and just sit in your room. Bro, you are not gonna understand what this means. You're not gonna understand what I'm talking about. You gotta transmute this energy from the lower centers to the higher centers. That can only be done with proper techniques, disciplines, and practices that I all laid out for you on the ebook and on the video guide. Like, it's all there for you, bro. Everything that I've learned this far into the journey is all there for you. So, when you start to apply these things, not only will you be able to get past 30 day barriers, 60 day barriers, 90 day barriers, six months, you're able. You're going to be able to hit a year with a with all those practices and a strong, strong purpose for doing it. That that's going to make you bulletproof, bro. You're still going to go through some trials and tribulations, but that purpose is always going to remind you why you're doing this. And that purpose, I just kind of broke it down for you, becoming a vessel for the divine, using your body, your mind, your soul for God to be <coughs> acting out His will to help the humanity, to help people also elevate themselves to the highest form in whatever unique way you've been gifted to do. And then all those practices, to put it all together, you are gonna be golden. That's how you're gonna get to long streaks of semen retention. And when you get to long streaks of semen retention, I want you to not only comment on this video, save this video, do whatever, so you can come back to this thing and be like, damn, you were right. I'm not trying to say, oh man, I, I got all the answers. No, bro, because I'm telling you out of experience. I knew how it was six months into it. I knew how it was nine months into it. I knew how it was one year into it. One year to two years, completely different. Two years to three years, completely different. Three years to three and a half years where I'm right now, completely different. You just keep elevating, bro. It's like nonstop gains, nonstop improvement, nonstop development until you get to the point of full mastery. And I don't even know when that is, bro. Right now, looking at it, bro, I don't plan to relapse or break my streak anytime soon. I wanna keep going, bro. I wanna keep going. I wanna see what's more because the more you go on it, dude, the more you realize there's more left. You ain't done shit. Right now, you might think like, oh man, and I don't want anybody to ever think this, bro. I'm not no, fucking spiritual God, semen retention God or nothing, bro. I think I'm just a little bit ahead of you guys. Maybe, there's people ahead of me. Like, there's just always different things, different tracks in life. That's why you can never compare yourself to anybody. Yes, you can use it as a way to see what, what you're doing in life to, okay, maybe I'll extract some of this good stuff because this guy is a year into it, two years into it. But I'm not gonna be like, oh man, this guy's two years into it, and I'm not. No, bro, no. But what I am saying is that even two, three and a half years in, <clears throat> three and a half years in, looking back, bro, this is nothing really. People, the, the, the quote unquote staple for all the brahmacharis is 12 years. 12 years of brahmacharya. I'm not brahmacharya. None of us are. Don't put yourself on their level. They are different beasts. And I talked about it on that video talking about the different levels of semen retention. They're on a whole different wave. You and I cannot get to that level unless we really detach from the world, completely focused 
on becoming a vessel for the divine completely. That's what it is really. Brahma, God, Charya, becoming in union with it. I'm pretty sure that is what the translation is. Becoming in union, becoming a friend of God. So that 12 year mark really should be like the, the norm for the people that really, really want this. I'm not saying to do it. I'm not saying if I can even get to that point. I would like to. It would be dope. It would be cool. But if the universe doesn't want me to do that, then by all means, I don't know. I can't tell them the future. I can only just work out day by day by day. And that's all you can do. Don't put yourself, I'm going to, I have, yes, it's cool to make goals. I'm going to make a year. But just work, focus on day by day by day. I don't like this idea that don't count the days, make the days count because that's a cope for the people out there that can only hit 30 days. Oh man, I don't know how many days I'm on. Oh, I can only hit 30 days, but I'm making the days count. No, bro. That's like saying, don't count the weight on the bar. Just make the weight count. Dude, your body at a certain point needs more weight, needs more reps. You need to progressively overload. Have a balance between the two. Make the reps count, but also understand and track your progress in the gym. That's why some people talk about, oh, I only train intuitively, only do seam retention intuitively. Bro, that's just using your feminine side of your mind. You're not being, you're not being disciplined with that masculine side to actually look at the numbers, be logical, be disciplined, and actually lay down a groundwork and foundation for that to happen. But if you're too much on that side, you're only gonna be like, oh, day 90, I should do this. Day 70, I should do this. 135 pounds, I should do this. That, you can't have that. You gotta have a balance between the two, which I'll talk about on the next video here on What The Fulati, talking about the whole idea of, you just gotta wait for it. I don't wanna spoil anything, you feel me? So, that's essentially what I got for you guys, the difference between short-term streaks and long-term streaks. Wherever you're at right now, you should always want to not only better yourself, get to the next level, and just see, see what's, what's on the other side. That's what helps me. That's what keeps me going. Not only do I have a higher purpose for you and I'm using Seaborn Attention as a tool to help me accomplish that, but I'm also a very curious individual, if you haven't noticed that yet. I will research everything that I'm interested into. Religion, philosophy, fitness, uh, mental health, subconscious, psycho psychology, business, entrepreneurship. I like everything. That's why I talk about everything on this channel, on the main channel. I don't box myself into one little corner. So I'm always looking for what, what's the next thing? What's more? What's on this side? What's on that side? So I always want to see what's, what is four years of seam retention look like? What is five? What is six? What is that 12? And funny enough, if I ever hit that 12, I'll go from 21 years old, plus 12, 33. 33, if you know about it, the esoteric and more occult significance of that number is the 33 vertebrae in your spine. Jesus died at 33. The 33 uh, degrees of Freemasonry. The 33 uh, gods in the Vedic pantheon. It's like a very holy and spiritual number. So if I get to that point at 33, that would be sick. I don't know. I might just do it just for that. Just to say, yeah, I'm, I'm at the 33rd degree of semen retention. I brought it in 12 years, all the way up my 33 vertebrae. I don't know, it's something cool. I always thought it. But yeah, man, maybe I hit that 12, maybe I only hit four, maybe I only hit five, maybe I only hit six. But right now, I can tell you right now, I don't plan on doing no relapse in no time soon. So maybe this can help you that someone three and a half years into it doesn't see any point to going back to all the old ways. For the people who are out there in 30 days, bro, you build it up, bro. I'm telling you, just build it up to the point you are never going to want to go back. You are never going to want to go back. And I'm not saying, oh, I don't want any kids or children, this and that. Yes, that's something I do want to do, but I don't plan on doing that anytime soon anyways. I'm only 24. I don't see myself doing any of that. But also, if I develop myself to that point of doing it for whatever, 12 years, say I'm 33, ready to have family, bro, I'm not going to go back to my old ways with just releasing like that even if I have a wife even if I want to have kids I'm gonna value my seed not only because not only the 
the physical like seed but i'm talking about your soul is literally intertwined with it that's why in the vedic uh philosophy they talk about virya as your soul your spirit it ain't even compared to god it has that much influence on your overall development mentally physically and spiritually so hopefully you understand what i'm trying to say with all this bro hopefully you're picking up what i'm putting down bro because i'm out here in the field in the flesh dropping y'all that game so you guys can make these games and i'm out here peace